Okay guys, so what we're trying to do here is just to get the patty, you know, quite rounded and um, like a typical burger patty. So um, we're just getting all of the entire perimeter of the burger meat kind of rounded. So I'm just using this paddle to sort of push in the side and sort of judging it and that paper on the moon, that um, wax paper there so just giving me a little help so that paper I just keep it there so I can at least move the patty around easily so that's what we're doing there so we're gonna season this and we're gonna let it sit for about five or so minutes before we put it on the grill so we're gonna go ahead and put some dried powder seasoning and this one is table blend salt free seasoning blend this is the one we're gonna put on okay. We're going to put some sea salt on. Okay. And in this case, we're going to turn around the burger meat to make sure that the salt also gets some salt on the back of this one. Of this also. And remember guys, we need that butter, that, um, we need to put some egg, when we were um, mixing, when we were mixing the burger meat, we put some egg as the binding agent. We're going to go ahead and put some more dry seasoning on powdered seasoning I should say on to make sure it's seasoned it is seasoned through and through and we're gonna put some pepper on one side and we're gonna turn this around and we are gonna put some pepper on in the same breath we are making sure that our burger maintain its shape and it's not broken so that's why I'm using the spatula all the way and now that we have the butter, the pepper on it is still on, on that wax paper and so we're gonna sort of massage this in the salt and the pepper and the dry powdered seasoning and we're gonna make sure that stays on the wax paper and we're gonna let that sit for a minute or two on the counter and then we're gonna get the grill going and since it's only um, one burger we're doing we are just gonna use the new wave oven and not the big conventional oven that will take two hours to, <laughs> to get hot okay I'm just exaggerating exaggerating I'm just exaggerating, okay. To ensure all that seasoning sort of soak into this, what I'm gonna go gonna do is just to put a bit, a tad bit of oil on this burger here, and I'm gonna put another piece of wax paper 
on top of this while it's waiting to marinate and I'm just going to make sure that the wax paper is fully covering this burger and the oil is penetrating all the way around so I'm going to make sure that this is covering this and I'm just massaging the seasoning in to make sure it's so the season soak all the way making sure this soaks all the way in so I'm just massaging and that is going to sit on that wax paper so we're going to go ahead and prepare the grill okay okay guys so my beautiful new wave oven is sitting on the countertop if there's ever one thing I do appreciate is the time and the investment that I sort of put into getting this here oven. It is so pretty, it's so easy to clean, it is quick, it is beautiful, and it just gets your meal all ready within the minutes. That's how fast this oven is. I filmed the entire burger um, dinner and then I lost the footage the Memorial Day footage so I have to do this burger part of it all over but I was glad that I used the new wave I must do a review on this new wave if you want a very good investment it's gonna be the a new wave oven and that's exactly what I did. It's expensive, but it pays off so beautifully. I don't use it all the time, but when I do, I'm just so appreci appreciative of this oven. Um, so I'm glad I was able to catch a couple of the footage um, going forward with this burger meal because I lost the entire first part of it, but I'm glad I'm able to do recreate the second part. And so we're gonna just move ahead with the second part here. You don't want to keep the burger long on the grill, okay? It's gonna be become rubbery and it's gonna be dried out. You want it to be done just juicy and right. And so the best way to do that is I just give it like three minutes on one side, three minutes on the other side, put some butter on, put another minute on and it is done. That's all you really need for your burger meat. If you go over and beyond that, it's gonna become rubbery. So bear that in mind, okay? And again, guys, to make sure that I keep this oven clean and pristine, I try to make sure that every time I use it, I take the best care of it because it is so expensive. It's not really cheap. And so, I try not to make, I try to ensure that oil is not everywhere on this grill. And so, what I usually do, I sort of put it on a foil paper, and since it's just a burger, I'm just going to put it on this foil paper here, okay? That's what we'll be using. Okay, guys, so I turn on my little on the counter light that I've installed. And if you guys have not seen that, you should go to my other channel. That wink makes me beautiful. <laughs> and that video is there. Oh, I did the backdrop here. I'm still finishing the install of the light, but I got a little bit busy. And so um, that is not finished. I'm going to be decorating my counter. So I start taking out the things to decorate the counter and all of these things. I just remove them from the back there. I don't want the heat to sort of destroy those and this jar I'm recreating for my countertop so when I'm decorating the countertop I'm going to finish installing the lights and put away all the pieces that are hanging but I just want to see now what I'm doing here making sure my oven is clean and beautiful Oops. so what I'm going to do I'm going to take off the top and that's how you sort of put your burger on what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take the burger 
and I'm gonna place it right on that foil there. Ready? And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take off the top. Isn't that beautiful? This is so pretty. So I'm just gonna turn that down, maintaining the shape. The oil seep right through and it's not only on both sides. And what I did do before I finally put the oven on, I make sure that this burger is totally shaped. The patty is as maintained. It's perfect shape. That when it goes on the bun, it's not ill-shaped. Right, I think it is just beautiful. So that's the final thing I do. I'm just gonna massage the seasoning in one final time. I'm just gonna pinch the edges of this foil paper nicely, like so, to make sure the drippings don't really go down in the oven. I like to just do that, maintain it, and also to give the burger that moisture that I so desire to make it not dry and rubbery but I want it to be so beautiful so all that oil and moisture is gonna be retained right in this foil here and that's exactly what I'm doing so I'm sort of making a little pan for that burger and that is ready to go so yeah Hopefully everybody can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see. So that burger is ready to, we are ready to move ahead with this burger, okay? So with that being said, let's go. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and I can take off this light just in case. It's so blinding and you can't see what I'm doing right. So now we put on the oven. I'm making sure it's really sealed on because if not, sometimes the, sometimes the grill sort of stop it. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get, start cooking. I'm gonna give it five minutes and then I'm gonna go. Five minutes, I'm gonna say start. So the oven is off and that bird that is doing. So we're gonna give it five minutes on one side and then we're gonna give it five more minutes on the other side. And then we're gonna put some butter on, put it back in for one more minute and we're done, okay? So meet me back after five minutes. There's hardly anything we, are, we can do right now then just wait. <laughs> Another nice thing about this oven, guys, is that you can always see what's happening. If you think that your um, the conventional the, the conventional oven, you can peek through that little tiny window too. But I feel more that we have a more intimate, <laughs> if you can say, if I may say so, relationship with this. Um, new wave oven than the conventional one. The conventional one, it is just so big and that, just that one little window, but this one, you can see all around the perimeter and you can see what's happening. If I think that my burger is, over, is getting overdone, I just turn it off and take it off, you know? So, You don't have to do a lot of guessing with this oven. It is just so convenient and that's a nice thing. One of the great features of this oven. I must do a review on it. It is so beautiful. So um, I'm grilling the onions on over there and as I said before, I really don't like to put the raw onion on my burger because it's so acidy. But when you put it on the grill and it is just right, nothing like that on that burger. So that grilled onion is going on the conventional oven. 
and the burger is going on this here oven so yeah we are doing so well we'll be right back okay guys so this oven at has this oven had just beeped out which tells me my five minutes is up and this is looking so beautiful so I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see how beautiful this is. Okay guys, so we've done one side and so we are gonna turn this burger over and we're gonna continue with the other side. Make sure the other side is also grilled. And you can tell how beautiful this is. It is not looking dried out and anything like that. It is just beautiful. So we're gonna give the other side and you notice that if you can see closely how the burger had maintained its shape because we reshaped it before. So it's a perfect, perfect burger. If I should bring this up closely and you can see all the juice in and everything. It is so beautiful. All the juice was retained in the in its own little container here and the shape is in place everything is beautiful so and it looks juicy it looks so good and so we're gonna go ahead with the final stretch five more minutes and then we're gonna what we're gonna do we are gonna um, put the butter on for the final one minute and then we're done okay so let's go we're going to put this back on and you want to make sure that this is sealed and we're going to go to time five minutes and then start it's off again for the final stretch guys so pretty i like the way it looks the roundness everything is in place okay so the oven is off again and we try to we make sure that every one of you wherever you are whatever Okay guys, so we are doing so fantastic. This is going well. And two more minutes, three more minutes and we are done. Just want to pull this up a little bit closer so you guys can just see what's happening there. And our butter is ready. We're just using that little container. And we're gonna use a knife to put this on. So you just use a metal knife and put that butter on like as if you were doing a bread <laughs> putting butter on the bread so this and you don't need to put a whole lot just a little you want to make sure the burger is well um, tasty the, the sea salt is in so you guys saw what I did with the sea salt and everything and I think this is just about ready to for the final stretch so I'm going to stop this and put the I can see that it is so done that it's ready for the butter. So I'm just going to put this on pause and I'm going to put on the butter. Okay guys, so that's what it's looking like. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So pretty. That glaze. So we're going to just take a little butter that much and we're just going to put that on to give it that glaze, to give it that pretty color and to make it so tender when we put on that the container and that much of butter 
you don't want a whole bunch of butter just a little and then it's going to make it so juicy for the final stretch it's going to lock in the, the flavor and so we're going to do the final stretch now so we're just going to lift this and put it back on make sure it is properly sealed and just hit we're going to hit start Okay guys. Okay guys, so oh my goodness. Okay guys, so we have removed the beep went, we took off the the oven and so you don't want to keep the oven once it beeped out and the five minutes is finished, you want to take off the oven because if not it's gonna stay there and cook in that heat. So and it's gonna be dried out and become trashy and um dried out you know the moisture will be gone so we took that off and you can see how beautiful this looks with the butter the butter caused it to be so pretty it's look at the top of it and the it gives it just makes it has makes it um, create this lovely brown crust around and it is still very tender on the upper and the lower part of it really beautiful so now you could put a piece of foil paper on to let it continue cooking but um, for me this is done and I'm going to move remove it to a plate. I'm going to plate this. Okay guys, so that's the burger with the juice and everything. Looking so delicious, looking so good. And if you should ever take a look at my my catchment, it's clean, it's beautiful, no oil, nothing at all. I just need to wipe it with this um, soap sponge. And then it is clean, it is ready. This is how easy it is to clean. You just wipe it and it is done it is clean and ready for the next meal yeah guys so that's the burger it's done it's ready it is ready and one of my <laughs> I'm trying to create a vase with apples for my decor to decorate my counter so I sort of put the um, apples there it fell off <laughs> which is good it sort of give yeah, so I was able to put that away. So yeah, that's the burger, guys. It is so juicy. It is crusty on the oh, around the perimeter, but the top of it is juicy. Underneath is juicy. It is just not dried out. It's just so ready for that bun. So yeah, and we, if you notice, we were able to retain the roundness of this bun we were able to retain the roundness of this here not down but the burger meat the, the patty was is the same shape as practically as the bun that's what we i meant to say my thought wanted all for a minute or two the patty retained its shape and this is looking so delicious and the oven is clean it's not oily it's not a mess it's clean it's decent I just wipe it and it's ready to go so all right so guys let's move to the next phase of this burger preparation so we're gonna prep the rest the onion is roasted 
everything is roasted and ready to go. We put some more salt and pepper on, and it is at the moment seeping through, um, permeating, permeating the burger meat. And in a minute, we're gonna start the process. Okay, so let's go. Okay, guys, while the burger is going on that side of the counter, we're on this here side of the counter now getting ready for the next phase what we're gonna need we're gonna need some tomatoes which we have some here on the stems of course so we're gonna need some tomatoes I'm just gonna go ahead and take off one I'm gonna need mayonnaise, some of my camera just won't focus. Okay, there we go. And it's just butter. The camera is not focusing. It's on that silly autofocus that is crazy. So just just butter that we're gonna use to brush over the burger. So let's go ahead and chop the tomatoes. Okay, so I'm just grilling the onions. I'm gonna put some oil on that before I put it, put the burger on. These are done. 
I'm going to do the same for the bun. Okay. Okay guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to grill our onion, okay. Okay guys, so what I usually like to do, I love to grill my onions and also grill my buns for my burgers. When you don't grill the onions, the, the, the acid, um, acid, the acid, of the, the, the onion is just overpowering and I don't like that so I always like to just put this on the grill but just because the other grill is going with the burgers I don't want to bother that so I'm just going to do this right here on my stove top Okay, so I'm just grilling the onions. And I'm gonna put some oil on that before I put it, put the burger on. So these are done. I'm gonna do the same for the bun. For the burger I'm just gonna minutes before it's over I'm gonna brush on some butter on it to make that a little tender and give it that beautiful gloss it's gonna permeate and make it so tender and nice and minutes before I take it off the um, take it out of the oven before it's done and before I put on the cheese I always brush on some butter I'm gonna go ahead and put some more pepper this burger. I'm going to put a little more salt Then I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese. But on goes one cheese, on go the other cheese. I'm going to crisscross them. Okay, so those are on the burger. I'm just gonna put that back, put that back on the grill for a minute or two. Okay, so we're gonna put back the oven for a minute with the cheese and the butter onto that burger, and now it's going for the final stretch. Guys, once the cheese is melted, then we are done. So the butter and the cheese is on, and we are on the final stretch. And we are watching that in real time, guys. the cheese start melting then we are done because that burger is pretty much done and we have the butter on we have some more pepper and salt and the cheese is on we have already grilled the, the, um, the onions and everything is ready to go guys
and before you know it that cheese is melting we are done okay guys that's the burger right there so we're gonna remove that and put that onto the bun and we are done Ooh, that is so nice look at that let's go to the counter guys okay guys so what we're gonna do we're gonna put some mayonnaise onto the bun bun number one that's the base put a little mayonnaise just a little okay we're gonna put the burger onto base number one there we go we're gonna take our lettuce we're going to break it into the formation of the bun so it stays on and we're going to put that lettuce onto that burger. So we have come to the end of this here burger cooking. We are done. And we put two um, quarter picks in to facilitate if we have to cut it in two, then at least we have those quarter picks will hold them in place. So if you were to cut, you would have to cut the burger like so between the porta picks and then these porta picks would hold the other half in place so that's the whole intention of using those porta picks there as you can see and um, yeah with the Memorial Day holiday in the United States of America then everybody can go out there and try this here burger 
I know it's gonna be out of this world good, guys. I know it's gonna be so, so good. I want you guys to go out there and try this hair burger. I know with all the brittle onion and everything, that melted cheese, the seasoning rich, soaked all the way in, it's gonna be so, so, so good. I can't wait to indulge, believe me, I am ready to eat up a storm. So we have cooked up the storm, now we are ready to eat up a storm, guys. I want you guys to go out there and try this burger. I know it's going to be bomb.com. You're going to come back here and tell us how yours came out. Go ahead, recreate this. I challenge you. It's going to be good. Now, on your way out, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, <laughs> comment, and rate this here. Um, burger dish. Um, we're looking forward to another, a couple more salad coming up. We're going to be doing an avocado salad and we're going to do quite a few other um, salad. So we want you guys to come back here and rejoin us on this great expedition. It's going to be so, so fantastic. I'm looking forward to our next great cooking experience with you guys coming along coming on board with us to do this together and so until we meet again we just want to say you be safe we're still in the covid cooking and everybody can participate in this here dish rabbit doggy kitty whatever the pet is and Again, the children are going to love it, the elderly are going to love this burger. It's cooked to perfection and it's not overdone, it's not underdone. So it is just right in the middle for everybody. Guys, this is good, 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 good. Thank you so much for stopping by. On your way out, please again remember to subscribe. Okay guys, and please rejoin us again in our next next upload which is coming up tomorrow so until we see you guys again you walk good We're still in the covid cooking still in the crisis cooking you walk good be safe be healthy until we see you again ta ta ciao la bella bye bye au revoir bye bye take care